Today I'm going to show you how to use our uh, photo right mug press. This is our version one uh, mug press, uh, and we're going to sublimate uh, a mug. So please excuse that background noise. Basically, I have my uh, sublimation uh, image uh, being printed off at the moment. Uh, so at the moment the uh, mug press is completely switched off so I'm going to switch it on uh, and it's going to want to start warming up straight away so it's very important uh, with the mug press let's just move this back so you can get a bit of a better shot here we are it's quite important with mug presses uh, to to extend the life of the heating element uh, that there's always uh, when it's heating up there is always uh, a mug here uh, absorbing the heat now when when it's ready you'll take that out uh, and you'll have your, your, your new mug ready to put in but you know when it's warming up always keep a mug in here uh, to extend the life of the element so to set the program uh, on this one uh, you're going to press the OK button uh, and then that, that 100 is your temperature so you're going to take the temperature all the way up to uh, for the, this mug uh, and take it up to 200 uh, so your settings it really does depend on quite a, a number of things so you'll if for the first you know your first few months it will be experimenting uh, depending on the mug paper type and your whole setup uh, so the first one is your temperature and then i'm going to press ok again uh, and the second one is the amount of time so for this one uh, for this particular mug that we're using it's 180 seconds but as I said, you know, when you look around on YouTube and various other ones, they really do vary from, uh, you know, I've seen videos right up until about five minutes. Uh, but for this one here, it's a, for this mug and paper combination, uh, it's around 180 seconds. So at the moment, uh, I'm going to press OK again, uh, and that's it, it's gone off. So the timer won't start until I press this button down. Uh, that's when the timer will start. So at the moment, uh, it's heating up now you can see uh, it's up to 52 53 degrees so I'm going to wait <coughs> excuse me for it to get up to around 170 to 200 uh, and in the meantime I'm going to cut out uh, my sublimation image so <coughs> so I'm going to leave a, a little border so the, the reason for leaving the little border is that I want to be able to uh, my adhesive, adhesive tape onto it. There we are. So it's quite important when you're printing your, uh, your, <coughs> your sublimation items to print in mirror mode uh, so that when it's applied to uh, applied to your mug uh, that it is the right way around. So I'm just going to move, I'm going to leave that heating up and I'm just going to move the camera so you can just pretty much see uh, what I'm doing now. So I'm going to place my image onto onto the mug uh, and this was an old picture, this was my uh, this was my little girl a few years ago uh, uh, when she used to do dance classes. Right, so it must go on with your heat proof tape, you must apply heat proof tape to your paper. So it's normally one, uh, one at the top and then one down the sides. Uh, and it's quite important that you've got no, uh, no ripples and no bumps in that. And the last one. So that, that's enough, uh, my mug's ready to put into the printer. So I'm just going to put that down on the side for a second and spin it back around. So we're up to 126, so I'm going to give it probably a couple more, another minute, uh, let it reach temperature. So it doesn't have to get all the way up to 200, just as long as it's you know uh, anywhere between about 170 to 200 is fine. So just going to give it a little bit longer. So the trick with these ones is to get all your mugs ready. Uh, you know, I've got my first one. While that one's in the element, you could be uh, in the mug press. You could be taping your next one up and, and get yourself into a, a bit of a chain uh, going. Uh, rather than do them just one at a time, or you know, if you've got a lot to do, 
get yourself a nice uh, chain running. So these mug presses, are, they basically come with 12 months warranty on this. The heating element will come with six months warranty. Uh, it's a bit like, like a kettle. The reason it is six months, within six months you can get one user that does 50 mugs. Uh, or you can get one user that does 5,000 mugs, so there's no way to control that. So basically, it's 12 months warranty on the, on the mug press and mechanical, six months warranty on the heating elements. If we, we do keep spares of the heating elements, spare heating element, uh, currently 2013, spare heating element, uh, around £18, I think. Uh, but we do keep them for sale on the website uh, and we do tend to keep spares for all of the sublimation equipment that we do sell. So we're up to 165 as you can see. Uh, I'm gonna, when it gets to about 170, 180, I'll stop and pop my mug in. So uh, this, this here, uh, let's just get it back there. Uh, so this will adjust the pressure, uh, this, this piece here. So you can screw this clockwise or anti-clockwise and it will increase the pressure. Now you should have a good even all round pressure uh, on your mug here. Uh, and this is the lever clamp for tightening it. Right, so I'm gonna let it get to 180 and then I'm gonna pop it in. Right, so I'm gonna release it off uh, and pop my new mug in. And then I'm gonna start the timer. And straight away, uh, this will start counting down. Uh, you'll see 180 seconds uh, and it's gonna start to count down. So I've just gotta wait. Uh, for that to finish now. So as regards your, your spare mug, you know, the, please keep, always keep uh, a mug around that you can uh, use and pop back in, like I said, to keep the, extend the life of the heater element. Uh, please bear in mind that the mugs, when they come out, they are very hot. So we've just got a waiting game now. Uh, when, when it's finished, uh, an audible alarm will go off. So as I said earlier, you know, it does come with full instructions uh, and you've got this video as well. If you need to adjust the, the pressure here, uh, you can just do this clockwise or anti-clockwise. So the thing I like about uh, th this mug press uh, compared to the other mug press which we're going to do, this one has an audible alarm so you can go off, uh, you can do all the things, leave it running uh, in the background and uh, when the alarm goes off you know it's ready. Uh, the other mug press that we do, uh, there's no audible alarm so you have to stay with it. Uh, this, one, this one is the better, better of the two models. Uh, but obviously this one's more expensive but you know unless you can stand there all, all the time uh, they're not for this one. So yeah back to the temperatures and temperature yeah time and temperature like I said at the start of the video uh, it, it, it's not set in stone this one is uh, uh, this one was 200 degrees, uh, 180 seconds, but it, it, it does vary, uh, you know, if you put it in too long it can burn it, if you put it in for not long enough uh, it won't transfer properly, it depends on, on your mug, uh, your paper, just your whole setup, so, you know, it may be trial and error, but a good starting point it is around uh, 180 seconds at 200 degrees. Right, it's a good idea to be going off there, uh, doing other things. And when you're standing there waiting for a mob, it's like waiting for Christmas. So what I'm going to do as well is that I've still got my uh, mugs that I use to heat up. When I take this mug out, you're going to see I'm going to pop my other mug uh, straight back in. Yeah, 
so that's going to be now, it's an audible alarm that the mug is finished. So I'm going to take this one out and I'm going to pop it on the side and straight away I'm going to pop my replacement mug in. Uh, now if you've got another one you could set yourself up for another one, otherwise just turn, turn the machine off. So please bear in mind, uh, remember that it is quite hot so we need to remove the uh, the tape from this uh, just a bit of dirt there just need to wipe that off uh, and this is our this is our sublimated mug uh, and that's how easy it is to use this uh, mug press this is our version one mug press from City Ink Express thank you